Hello and welcome everyone. Before my uh, wee son will come and disturb us, I would like to show you several towns in the Iron Age so that you can judge uh, yourself if you want to progress with the eras or if you want to stay maybe in the low eras and then progress when you are ready. So for those who don't know me, I'm Piotr FX. You, see, you can see the username here. And I'll show you first, uh, I show you first only account in the Iron Age where I didn't, let's say, do a lot. It's a Z -Z 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 server, okay? So that's mean it's a, um, it's a beta server. Yes, beta server. So it's not the server where we, you know, go and play most of the time. It's just, uh, it's just the server where, uh, where you just, test things out mainly. But there are people who developed, you know, number one ranking and so on. There are people who even my friends have here accounts. And I wouldn't have to scroll a lot like to, oh, already town that I see. So, um, so yes, there are people who plays here, but I don't have account here to play. I just do the events here. And I mean, not do them, that's exaggeration. I just look at the events and then I can record you information about the events, okay? So that's what it is. But I will, I will make some progress for you uh, and I will for sure record it as a town from scratch because this town is, is poor. It's, it has only 52,000 of coins. It has only 27,000 of supplies it doesn't have technologies open and it's here for hundreds and hundreds of days to be true it's 461 days okay so it is old 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 town which is over a year old mm -hmm. and which i didn't you know like do a lot with it yeah so if i would just go and replace the town the town buildings yes i wouldn't go far why i wouldn't go far well first foremost i will run out of coins quickly i will run out of supplies and and i won't be happy about it and then i will be struggling with those here technologies as well yes why because you see i need here 13 of uh, of marble, yes, which is easy to get, yes, but then will be more and more, and there are 20 odd forge points in this era, yes. Then I'll move to another one. And before I'll uh, discover the goods, which I can do, I need to discover the map. And fighting already, it's quite easy, but not with the army I've got, okay, I can be conquered quite easily, right? Oh, I can get heavy. I get a heavy, then it will be okay. But then if I will go and attack another ones, yes, like with this, or I, I'll need a help. <laughs> you see, it's only one left and I've got no army. And what I will do now, like I'll pay goods, all because I've got, because I, I could produce it, yes, yes. But then I'll run out of goods or another sector will require goods, which I barely have or don't have, yes, you see five out of five, if I will click and negotiate now, I will be out of goods. So that that's not the town you wanna, yes? Because then it will be another, another, another sector here and you will be pretty much stuck with only uncovering the uh, simplest, you know, things in the game and you won't get any benefit out of the performance. If you don't have a performance, you don't have a forge point, you don't have a boost to attack. Look, forge points, done, zero, nothing. So only 24 hours scams and whatever guild gives you, nothing. Daily bonus is only coins. So that's it. And, and you don't have more than that. So you start off 24 forge points. And are you happy to have only 24 forge points? Well, I'd say no, you're not happy, yes? And so what can you do about it? Well, you can stay in that era. First for most, you developed all the technologies here, yes? You don't go above. That's you, all of them. You don't put a single fort points at early middle ages. And why? First from most, you see it's more fort points, more goods needed, 20, 20 or 24. The attack is required stronger as well. Look, it's here, 40, 43, 35, 40, you see, 50. At late middle ages is Wow, it's like quite a few thousand. And if you don't believe me this way, we can 
do it this way, look. So Iron Age, that's ignoring optional technologies of previous eras, and that's ignore optional technologies of current future eras, okay? So already here, you see I'm short 52 forge points to finish only the Iron Age, yes? Uh, I'm short of those goods. Let's switch to early Middle Ages, yes? 397 uh, forge points, that many goods and that many supplies. Now here, forge points is 1060, Yes, that's what is required now from what I need and what I have. That's, I've got only 70, so nothing to brag about. A lot of supplies, a lot of coins. In Colonial, look, again, 1900, uh, 2800. So you better focus on, the, on getting more forge points because with each era, it will be more difficult to get forge points. So doing events and guild expeditions uh, and the settlements is the something which you should consider sticking to instead of doing, let's say, um, if instead of doing only eras, if you'll stick to eras, it will be difficult. Here is a mid range of my towns, okay? Mid range. So it's doesn't have arc on 80th level and it doesn't have boost to the attack like nearly 200 or something. See, it's only 99 on 101, uh, so it's nothing to brag about yet, okay? I can't finish four levels of the GE with that attack yet, but it's nearly there, yes? It's nearly there. It's, it's, it's not bad, but it's nearly there. Only I've got five troops from the Alcatraz, so it's, it's literally nothing. If I wouldn't have my artillery here, I wouldn't do a lot. And I was able to do, if you watched previous videos, I was able to do 277 fights in the last uh, GBG, yes? And get out of it, because now it's finished, so I can show you. Um, so for that, for this month, yes? It's 20, for, uh, 20 times 10 forge points, yes? So 10 times you've got 100, yes, so 200. And Ebony, Mounted Warriors, Cloth, Iron, 10% attackers, but 20% attackers, but five soldiers, yes? So a lot of rewards from GBG. And that was worth, yes, in only this month, yes? I won't be reading you, but you can see how many in the last 30 days, okay? Because that's fourth only. And uh, that's the last 30 days. So you can see that there is 10 forge points, 63, so 630 forge points. You can check the rest as well here if you can see clearly on the screen. So that's that's a okay, yes? So I can't moan about this town. But guess what? There is a better town here because here I've got only 361,000 of the uh, uh, points. Yes, here I've got 4,500 and I'm still in the Iron Age. My arc is on the 80th level. My Alcatraz is on the 24th level, which is actually comparing to the amount of artillery I've told you in the previous uh, video that it's even worse. So if I would have so many art artillery where I've got on the United States one <clears throat> on Arvahal, uh, I would be better off than I have, you know, this 24th level. So I'm ra I will be raising it to the 30th, but I'm raising for my friend to 15th level now, Himeji Castle, yes. Well, for myself as well, but for him to catch the blueprints. And again, let's check how many forge points these towns are producing because that's the most, you know, like crucial part, yes? So here you've got 64 plus those 24 forge points and town hall is producing eight forge points because I've got an emissary or no? Yes, I've got one emissary because I twice I finished the Vikings, yes? For the first time you finish, you get Yggdrasil. Where is my Yggdrasil here? Somewhere over the rainbow. Here, sorry, 6%, yes, that's level one. At the second time you finish them off, uh, you've got, um, at the second time you finish them off, you see that's twice finished, you've got this emissary, which gives you one fourth point. So you've got 64 fourth points plus 24, that's 84, 88 fourth points per day. So this town producing for real about 100 fourth points 
um, from from the rewards from Himeji Castle. Uh, no, not from the rewards from uh, Guild Battleground, from from everything in general. Yes, from Guild Expeditions because I'm finishing always off. I'm trying my best to finish off always four levels. Yes, so I finish that off. I won't have a lot of points because it's the Iron Age, yes? But look, it's 64, it's total. You can't get more than that. You see top people are doing the same amount, 64 on 64. So I, I did finish all the GE, yes? And here you've got about 88 fourth points. Whereas let's check us this one, this town, yes, here. This town producing 149 for one is not motivated. Something is not, ah, okay, yeah, because I've took off uh, the, the shrine of knowledge, yes? Uh, so one is not motivated. So 149 at 24 now. So 173 fort points per day this town is producing plus GBG, yes? Uh, plus Himeji Castle. So even on the small level, like 11th level, yes? You can expect Himeji Castle to produce you some rewards. So spoils of war, that's from Himeji Castle. And since Tuesday only, uh, 50 goods times four, 10 times rogues times one, five times rogues times one, 125 goods times one, 50 fourth points times one, and 10 fourth points times one since Tuesday only. Uh, for the last 30 days, yes, 50 goods times 8, 10 fort points times 8, 5 rogues times 3, 50 fort points times 3, 200 fort points times 2, twice I received 200 fort points from it, and 50 diamonds times 1, uh, 10 rogues times 1, 125 goods times 1. So that's what Image Castle only on the level 11th can offer you if you have it, yes? So it's really worth to have it. It's really worth to raise it. It's really dear to raise it. So if I would say Ark or a Himeji Castle, I'd raise them to about 10th level as soon as possible, both, okay? And then from then on, I would focus mainly on the Ark. Ark and the Trust, Ark and the Trust, because Alcatraz will give you more troops and Ark will give you and boost to your town like free blueprints, free medals, etc., etc., even fort points. Yes, so you see, so you can have nearly 200 fort points per day. Yes, if I'll upgrade those three last terrace farms, that will be 21 fort points more. Okay, only those. If I start to replace those shrine of knowledge with only those, um, I don't know how you call them actually in English. Do I have them? I've got them. So they are called Sacred Skywatch, okay, on level two. They're giving you three, four, two fort points on the level two. So two of them will save me two uh, squares here. So I can easily fit here, uh, you know, one more. So instead of five, I can have six fort points. Or I can put something different, yes. That's okay, that's irrelevant. I still got 993 people, so I, I'm happy to do either or, you know, it's, it's okay. But anyways, here you've got attack nearly to the um, uh, industrial. You've got 197 on 172. I, I'll raise this attack only here for about five to 10 uh, percent and here for about 30 percent. And I'm doing industrial age whole guild expeditions with it. You see, so I can then move to eras quickly Two, oh, sorry, early Middle Ages one, uh, high Middle Ages two, uh, late Middle Ages three, uh, colonial four, uh, and then industrial, it's five. So five eras, I can just jump like that and I will be able to afford it and then my attack will be still good. So judge yourself now, if you wanna progress with eras, have least of four points, have least of attack, or if you wanna progress with a good attack through eras, and then feel comfort in the game and maybe help someone else. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.